from San Francisco. It's The Cube. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with The Cube. We are on the ground at the JW Marriott in San Francisco, California for Location and Context World. It's kind of a small show. We want to come check it out because there's a lot of exciting things happening and we're actually hearing more and more about kind of indoor and more kind of context and location stuff at some of the bigger shows that we've been at. So we thought we'd come check it out. So I'm happy to be joined by Bill Schneider from Urban, Out Urban Airship, excuse me, Urban not Airship. Urban Outfield. Nope. Maybe they're a customer though. Uh, director of Product Management. Welcome. That's right, thank you. Thanks, great to be here. So give us a little background for on Urban Airship for those who don't know what you guys do. Well, Urban Airship is a mobile engagement solution. So applications will use our solution to message out to their audience through uh, push notifications and um, application and messages in the app through their message center to um, reach their audience about what's going on within the app. And we're specifically used to help uh, applications message their users after the install. A lot of times applications have a hard time in um, retaining their audience and they use our solution to reach out to their, to their customers to do that. So Bill, that was a whole bunch of big words that that, uh, that sounded okay, but okay. give us an example. Okay. Give us a customer example, Got it. what they're using it for, how, you know, how does it touch the person? Sure, so like uh, ABC News is one of our customers. Okay. And when they have uh, breaking news items that come out um, through ABC News, they send out a, a notification, a push notification through our platform to all of the subscribers that want to have breaking news on their phones the moment that it comes out. Okay, so I, I think it gets confusing because there's so many message platforms now, right? There's instant messaging, which we all think of, an email, the old style messaging, and, but now what you guys are really talking about is messaging within the within the mobile app to increase engagement. That, is that accurate? Well, uh, messaging within the app and also messaging that um, happens through the push notification service that the OS makes available that is application based. So it's all about, in the case of ABC News, all their messages are about ABC News specific. Okay. Um, and they're sending that out through the notification um, layer, so to speak, to drive people back into their application. Okay, and then how does that now tie back into location uh, and context, which okay. is where we, where we are today? Right, so, um, so that was a media example. Um, we have uh, a, a customer that we just worked with, with was the USTA, who puts on the US Open every year. And they, um, as part of the US Open, they put out beacons throughout their grounds uh, where we worked with our partner, Gimbal, who's also here. So as somebody would move through the grounds, would come into the gate, we would send out messages welcoming them, welcoming them to the event giving them an update on today's matches and all the things that were happening there so that they were plugged in and knew what was going on. So it's such a cool uh, kind of reuse. We heard Zebra Technology in the keynote earlier talking about, you know, they're a barcode company and kind of this whole RFID, uh, which was, you know, really revolutionary in supply chain and, and, and stuff, but now it's really making this huge impact in the mobile world and people and advertising and all this context sensitive. What was kind of the breakthrough technology that enabled kind of this new wave of, uh, of applications, or, or an application really of, of what was old kind of RFID tags. Yeah, well, mobile is, is really changing the game in which um, uh, organizations can reach out to their customers. I like to call it um, the, a new marketing quote unquote superpower that they have at their disposal, because now you can send messages um, to your, your customers, your fans, wherever they are based off of their uh, current context, whether that's at the store, whether that's at their home, uh, wherever that might be. And that's that's, awesome. uh, that's a really powerful uh, capability that wasn't available before. Right, so I'll give you the last word as we go out. What's next? What's the next kind of big uh, hill to climb? What are you excited about in the next, I don't know, six months? Well, I would never say years in this business. Yeah, well there's so much upside in this business right now. I mean, the just in terms of the conversations that we're having here at uh, Location and Context World, um, you can see that people are just getting started with their initiatives, so just in terms of delivering messages that are location-based, huge upside potential, we're very focused on that opportunity. Awesome. Well, Bill Schneider, thanks for stopping by Urban Airship. We're at uh, Location and Context World at the JW Marriott in San Francisco, California. I'm Jeff Frick, you're watching theCUBE.